Jake Fromm took over his first start at Notre Dame. And look how good he's been in the two postseason games, Kirk. Yeah, incredible in, right here in this stadium against Auburn in the SEC Championship. And you and I were there in the Rose Bowl, made so many good decisions, especially late in that game, to give the Bulldogs a chance to win in double overtime. And now this is his final test of the season. Find out how he responds because he'll be hit more tonight than probably any game that he's played. I want to see how he responds to that. Both of those senior captains in the game, Chubb and Michelle, flanking from. Chubb in the flat, hit, fights through the initial tackle, works hard just to lose one yard. Deontay. Second and 11, Fromm from the pocket delivers a long throw near sideline, and Terry Godwin, the junior from here in Georgia. Fromm straight back, pressure up the middle, hit as he throws, a downfield shot, and coming back, Wims a battle, but it's picked off. Wims might make a catch, he's in the slot on the inside, look at that, Brown goes down, he's beat, ball is underthrown. Brown give him credit. He never gave up on it. The experience, you can see, he finds the football and then he fights for it and rips it away from Wims. The reach. The tailback. Brown fakes it to him, fires a slant. Godwin has got it, and he's got a first down across the 35. From participating Nick Chubb in the running game. Tendencies say it's the Georgia running game, and Georgia knows that. Trying to break some tendencies here early. Jim Cheney so far. DeAndre Swift is in the game, and he's out of the backfield, but looking downfield, and again, that's dropped by Javon Wims' team. Tied, rush four. Brown has time. Nice throw downfield, and the traffic ball tipped in the air, and in the uh, protection to the right. Brown from the pocket delivers a high throw. It's caught, finally. That's Javon Wims after a couple of drops. Pressure. Brown just kind of slings his ball and gets the ball out quickly. They're playing quickly, a downfield throw. It's one of those back shoulder fades that Front likes to change their personnel. Well, the dogs sub, so the Tide had some time to get fresh bodies, and Fromm is chased and sacked. Uh, needed to kind of recognize that and, and get back and help him on his backside. Somebody messed up, un really un- Excellent receiver. You fake it to him, Swift in the middle. Fromm was looking that way and now tries to escape. And he'll be tracked down. 20. The gate's 14 yards of field position. Huddle quickly. Flipped in the flat. Swift makes a cut. And the talented back from Philly. The freshman, a big... And second and five. Eason pulls it. Makes a little cut. Shows some elusiveness. And the quarterback has a first down. A quick huddle. Drops back, flips it incomplete. That was Payne who just had the receiver. Chris Wims, number six to the left, hasn't caught a pass yet. Brom took a look downfield. Now checks it down. It's complete. And it's Riley Ridley. Little brother making a big imp. Job of, of protecting the quarterback and passing lane open up the middle of the defense. Mac Wilson and Minka Fitzpatrick, who is down. They fake the end around, and now Fromm flips it, lofted in the air. It's Miko Hardman, the receiver. You know, Calvin Ridley sets up run to run. Comes the blitz late. Dogs need six. They're in field goal range. From downfield, there is Wims going up and making his first catch. He beat and the back shoulder fade over the years. We've seen this hurt Alabama. Everett never able to see the football. Make it to Michelle from throws a slant inaccurate. It was with from flushed back pedals and delivers a dangerous throw. Tied rush four from has time and delivers a strike across the middle. And it is willingness to make this call. This tells you everything about the relationship between Cheney and Fromm against that defense. Sit in that pocket and instead of making an easy read to the outside, no way. He's going to throw it right into the middle to his receiver Ridley. And again, it aired up. Fromm flips it short this time over the head. They target the fullback Cheney. Bring some pressure. Dogs pick it up, and it's a low throw. It was bomb. Um, making the adjustments. They clock at five. Tied rush four. Fromm gets it out. He 
It's thrown behind Ridley, who comes back and makes a nice hand catch. It's a first. To be able to hold on to that ball. From, from the pocket, drops by Godwin on the comeback route. Okay, to Minka and the rest of the tie defense. From a long throw, it's incomplete. Just over the outstretch. From steps up, escapes. A lot of room. And from no slide. He's going to take a shot. First down. Ellen Hurts, you're not always thinking about Jake Fromm pulling it down, but you see man-to-man, -man, defensive backs have their back to the quarterback in that man coverage. Fromm recognizes it right away. And instead of trying to force the ball, he felt the pressure from his right and takes off also off to the left. At a hurry. Play action. Fromm fires down inside the five. Slipping away and reaching for the end zone is Godwin. Saban, meanwhile, hoping, Kirk, that someone on this defense can can make a play, a takeaway. Spark Bama. Second and 13 from flips it in the flat. And in heavy traffic, Swift tries to cut back. And back-to-back -back losses to the top line down. Play action on first down. As Fromm is trusted to make a throw backed up, and Godwin makes the catch. Third down right here for Fromm. Delivers under pressure. Downfield. Caught. Hardman. A foot race. Escapes and scores. They're really moving from the hash to the middle of the field. Nobody's back there to help Tony Brown. Again, a physical defensive back against the speedster, McCole Hardman. Great job by Jake Fromm seeing that post-snap movement, see the Bama defense moving, steps up, feels some pressure by Terrell Lewis, and with a safety moving off the hash, puts it way up in the air with a speedster, again, Hardman can get to it. What a night for the guy with track speed. Had the rushing touchdown earlier and that wild dog keeper and then beats Brown here for 80. Remember in the, the early part of the dogs try to extend this lead. Any points out of this drive, it's a three-score game. Fromm again trusted to throw in first down. Batted in the air, picked off. The tide respond, Raekwon Davis. It's another big man interception by Bama. As well, the ball will bounce off of him. So there's Payne getting inside penetration. The ball is thrown, bounces off the helmet of hand, up into the air, and Davis with those long arms comes up with the big interception. Magavalo is still in the game. We've talked all night, Kirk, about risk reward. We've seen the reward of these talented freshmen making me to run. Top receiver Wims out of the game on third and six. Brom has plenty of time and delivers a high throw, and the catch is made by Riley Riddle. Little brother stepping out of the shadow. Oh, this is nice job. Great execution there again. Terrell Lewis is in there. Throws that ball high to the outside. He's done that all year. The ball thrown to the boundary. That comeback and Ridley continues to. Lines doing a good job of protecting him. Like I said, a lot of those are third and long. Rom does pull it and keep it as you suggested. But that time the time are ready. Linebacker come with him. That's why he's able to get out there. Another reaction from the crowd with a push. Michelle is the back. Ridley's out there on the right on third and six. Fromm has a clean pocket and delivers. A strike ball comes out. No. From pressured sacks right up the middle was Ray Kletic in the inside. See how he's able to just get off of Ben Cleveland. Freshman Swift to his left. From him has time in the pocket. It's an inaccurate throw, incomplete. Tied rush four. From delivers near sideline. It's Riley Ridley will be ruled out of bounds. Time again. High throw, incomplete. Tied rushed four. Pressure, flush, sacked, way back. Goes here, and he comes free. You can see that the center, Gilliard, 53, just not.